Good afternoon and thanks for joining us right here on Midday Kentucky. Welcome girls. Well, hey, we a little bit more you. energetic than yesterday. You're a little bit flat yesterday, I thought. No, we were just ragging on you. And you <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I know. You, you were what on me? Ragging on you. Ragging what does on that you. mean? Just teasing. Teasing. Yeah. Oh, just okay. picking on you. I got you. Well, <laughs> do you remember um, I said to you yesterday off camera that I was going to start back at the gym and you went, oh, you'll be so sore and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'm not. You're not sore? Of course I am. I could hardly walk up the downstairs. <laughs> I was going to say. I'm so bloody sore. I cannot tell you. Oh, am I allowed to say bloody? Yeah, Is that a swear word that. in America? No. Oh, good. Um, I just thought about that. Um, I'm so sore. I literally got out of the car after the gym. I'd only travelled maybe 15 minutes, if uh -huh. that. I went to walk up the stairs. I couldn't get up the stairs. <laughs> how, how embarrassing. I haven't been to the gym in two years. But you know what? Good for you for going, yeah, number one. Good. And when you're sore, you can feel exactly where you're sore, and you know you're working the right muscles that you want to work. You know what right. I mean? If they're sore, then you're like, okay, like sore. my, you know, like my booty what? was sore after I worked out. That's so, what yes, I'm talking to you about. That's where I want to work. What did you say? I don't know whether you've done this, but you said this morning I was hosting Good Day Kentucky, and you said to get rid of the drainage or something. Oh, you were saying you had lactic acid in your legs, so I said you need to do um, leg drains. A lot of you know. Have you heard of that? I've do never that. heard of this. After a really long run, you just you, like you sit with your legs up on the wall to drain oh. them. Oh, well, I was going to do the show like that on my back with my legs in the air <laughs> and doing a show upside down, but then I thought I already have a bad enough time reading the teleprompter as it is. Imagine trying to read it upside down. That would be interesting. Yes, though. exactly. We might be able to make some um, adjustments. Yeah, we're going to jump straight into the show. Talk to me a little bit about. Do you ever know anyone? who has what we call BO. Do you call it BO here? Like sure. body odor. Yep. Body odor. Do you know people who have that? Like bad body odor who aren't? Who Not don't in use my deodorant? daily life, but I've yeah, encountered it Exactly. In life. <laughs> I have encountered it too. Really? Yes. And it's bad. Yes, it Agreed? is bad, yeah. And so when do you put your deodorant on? In the mornings. Okay. Mornings or also in the afternoon if I go work out. Okay, mm -hmm. I got you. Well, here's something new. You ready for this one? It seems that most people aren't putting their deodorant on properly. I'm telling you that right now. A doctor has now revealed the best way to use an antiperspirant is more than just a quick spritz in the morning. They are now saying you should be doing it at night, not first thing in the morning. What do you think? Not first thing in the morning or both? No, not in the morning at all. At Why? all. Well, here it is. Antiperspirants generally contain aluminium chloride. Aluminium particles are taken up by cells in the sweat glands, causing them to swell and close up so they no longer release sweat. It's thought that by applying it at night, the antiperspirant has time to set in the pores during sleep. But what if then you're showering in the morning? Yeah. Is this only if you shower at night? That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> that study is incorrect then. Well, it would depend on it, it does. Maybe if you shower at night, oh. good point. Maybe it I won't even make a difference either because if it's getting into the pores, I mean, as long as you're not scrubbing your underarms I, in the morning, I would think that it yeah, would. Yeah, but you sweat at know. night. I mean, I loof all You sweat over. at night. That's why your tans don't last very long because you loof <laughs> it every day. That's right. But here's this. Using a sauna or having a hot bath regularly can train your sweat glands to be more efficient at high heat, producing more sweat to cool you down by distributing it better all over the body. Hot drinks are good for you to mm. stop sweating because apparently they, um, what does it say? Sweat more than eating foods such as peanut, oh sorry, some people sweat more eating foods such as peanut butter. Really? Yeah, because it has a slight allergy. Even though you might not be allergic to peanut butter and have those reactions uh -huh. that you see, but mm. you could have a small form of it and it will make you sweat. Go figure. Who knew? I didn't know huh? that. How funny is that? In fact, hot drinks also may be better at cooling you down than ice cold ones. We produce more sweat in response to hot drinks that with then with a cold drink, which actually suppresses sweating and doesn't change our body temperature. Hmm. That's why English people drink a lot of tea, uh -huh. even in the sweltering heat. They oh, we'd love a cup of tea. Yeah. Yeah. So no. I want you I to want be. Nice, I, well, here's the I tip. want a nice cold water. That's what I want. Oh, really? To well, eat. they yes. should be drinking at room temperature anyway. <laughs> Thanks for the input, girls. Um, <laughs> now let's get back to small talk, Katie. You're talking more about small talk. Yeah, this was an interesting study I saw online, and they were talking about the awkward moments in like small talk. Like just then. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, put your deodorant on. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> don't eat peanut butter. <laughs> we don't like people who smell. <laughs> drink your <True>. tea. <laughs> yeah, drink tea. Okay. <laughs> Some people find it erotic to have. It's a fellow. It's what's afternoon tea's erotic. No, people who have um, body odor. What do they call that? Ew. Ew. 
I don't know. I've never heard no, of that. No. There is. Google it, people, and I'm telling you now. Go over to our Facebook page. Yeah, they're called Europeans. <laughs> 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 that always happens when you travel. The showering patterns are different. <laughs> yes, they are. That is so not true. <laughs> it, but it's not effective. It's just culturally different. It is. Um, it is. You, you don't know. When you travel through Europe, you experience well, more. Well, the French do sweat a little bit more and have a bit of an odor. Mm -hmm. But also just like and personal have you seen that hygiene show? habits. It, it's different. Well, it is different. Say, have you seen that show, <laughs> Embarrassing Bodies, in, that's made in, in England? No, I haven't oh, seen Oh, you it. have to watch that show. It's brilliant. Yeah. But embarrassing bodies? Yes, but it's all about people who have issues with their body. Okay. And it's not about being overweight. It's people who haven't cleaned themselves properly, so they have a rotten toe. Or I love that show. I was it's not saying those show. are Europeans. <laughs> well, that's Europe here. Yeah. English to Europe. Okay. Well, right. Europeans think that we're Anyway, we digress. Now. <laughs> into not so small talk, so let's go. Um, anyway, this was just giving people tips when you're engaging in small talk, maybe with people you don't know, or for whatever reason, you are left in an uncomfortable situation with maybe one person, you're both waiting to get in somewhere or anything. And you know how there'll be those awkward pauses yeah. and no one will really say anything? This study was saying that a simple head nod and hand gestures encourage you to respond quicker. They observed a bunch of different um, communications between groups of two, groups of three, and the person who used hand gestures in the small talk always got a fast response or a head nod. But if the people who were just talking without it, um, they seemed to encounter more of those awkward pauses. So I was just wondering if you guys do you always try to talk with your hands, or do, does that work on you? I do. I do talk with my hands a lot, and I'm trying to think, you know, I mean, I, I am pretty friendly with people that I don't you're, know. You're or, one you know of those I mean? happy-go-lucky people. I am. That's Why always happy. Why are you, happy. like, giving me this no, yuck face? No, because sometimes <laughs> it can be irritating. Well, sorry to be a ray of sunshine in your life. <laughs> Jeez. No, but you're always very complimentary. I try to be. Yeah. I mean, you know. But that's small talk. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you, I think you feel the need to say something, then there's a place where you don't have to say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Katie and I don't often Sometimes. talk to each other at all. <laughs> it's perfectly <laughs> wonderful. We'll to spend 20 <laughs> minutes uh, in your office. I'll come in for coffee. We won't speak. No, I love <laughs> it. And if she I goes, hate small talk. If she I goes to it. talk at me, I look <laughs> up at her and go, I'm doing something. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I hate small talk. Yeah, I think that's I, why I really I'm single. Because <laughs> they have an issue. People have an issue with me quite happily sitting at home, uh -huh. just thinking to myself or doing my thing. Yeah. And when you're in a relationship, you've got to talk to them. Yeah. Even it, sitting on the lounge usually watching a good idea. You know, Get Away With Murder, they go, oh, did you see? I'm like, I'm watching it. Shut up. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> so small okay. talk, I will cut you yeah. at a function. I will literally walk away. Mm -hmm. if I'm I don't bored. like and it. And you either. will. You cut people off immediately at it. Yeah, you, you, do. you don't like it at all. No, it's boring. <laughs> but I just think if you've got something to say to me that's interesting or you want to get my attention, mm -hmm. I'll listen. Mm -hmm. But if you just want to make conversation mm -hmm. for no reason, I'm like, um, have I got something else? Well, to I've do? learned not to come in and say good morning um, to no, you. No, you always say good morning. Don't <laughs> say that. Um, but Charlie no. likes a good morning and no conversation. <laughs> <laughs> that is. True. That's what I enjoy in the morning too. Good morning. Good morning. And you know what? Hi. Get yeah. to the coffee, get to the business, yeah. let's yeah. get to work. I don't but enjoy you know what? We're so <laughs> We are so busy in the mornings that before the show that it's like <laughs> we have to be like that. You know what I mean? We do yeah. have to keep it. I don't going. know. You tell us what you think. Head over to our Facebook page at Midday Kentucky. I assume you put this up on there. Yes, I did. Because we didn't have small talk this morning. That's so right. you had time to do your yes, job. Yes, I did my See? job. See, this is what it's all about. <laughs> hey, Lisa, um, tell us what toys that you shouldn't have. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord, These, what are you talking well, about? No, no, no. Okay. They're not sex toys, are the, they? No, oh. of course. Of course not. <laughs> oh my gosh. Toys no. you shouldn't have. These are toys. Yeah, I know. That's <laughs> why I said they're not sex toys, are they? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. These are toys that should have never been made. Toys that should have never been made. And I had actually owned some of these toys in my past. I want to know if you guys have. Okay. So here's the first one. It is the breastfeeding doll. Oh yeah, I had three. It was aimed at little girls. BB Gloten doll made a sucking sound to mimic an infant feeding. Hey, I think God my sisters had that. They might have. Yeah. It comes complete with a strap-on nipple vest. <laughs> Sounds release. like Meet the Fockers. Remember that show? Yes. That movie? Yes. He had a strap-on breast. So yeah, it, upon its release, it, there, it, it caused you know, havoc of, among the, everyone. What's the next so one? they discontinued it. The next one is o Oreo ba uh, Barbie. Oreo Barbie. What is it? And what it is, 
I mean, it sounds innocent enough, but, but on the surface. But of course, Mattel and Nabisco joined together to make this doll. And it was decked out with uh, Oreo gear in the late 1990s. The company produced Barbies of both Caucasian and African American descent. The one thing they missed... It looks racist. Oreo is a derogatory yeah. term used among African American community to indicate a black person who secretly wants to be white. Yeah. And when the dolls debuted to the market, consumers immediately raised the racial sensitivity flag and the dolls were rapidly What's the next pulled. one? I agree <laughs> on that one. That was stupid. The next one was the Crazy For You Teddy. And this teddy bear came with a straight jacket and commitment papers to Did boot. Did you have one of these, Katie? <laughs> Did you? No. <laughs> I never even heard this. <laughs> you were that teddy bear. Oh. Yeah, that came yeah. out in 2005. <laughs> so, so, yeah, it, it, the bear actually <laughs> it was on the market until the mental health uh, advocates came on and put the kibosh on them. Okay. Yeah, I don't think bear. that's something to make fun of at all. Exactly, all. exactly. No. This okay. next one, okay, we had this lawn darts. Did you guys have lawn darts when you were no. growing up? Okay, oh, cool. so, you know, there's nothing worse than, I mean, small darts are bad enough, let alone large darts that are sharp, <laughs> sharpened completely. They actually caused, back in, the eight, back in the 80s, they were discontinued after four deaths and thousands of backyard injuries from those. Okay. <laughs> nothing worse than throwing darts but around. But they could just get darts from a dart board. We had these. I mean, we totally played this in the backyard Spines all the time. <laughs> Seriously. And the last one is the Easy Bake Oven. Okay, Katie. I love Easy Bake Oven. I did too. I know, I know. One? Yeah. Well, what the problem was is that the children were getting their hands caught in the oven part. It, these were fine until they made the stovetop version, number one, but then kids were getting their hands caught in the oven, and it led to a partial amputation from one of the children's fingers. So, yeah, they had to discontinue those in 2007. So those are uh, toys that should have never been made. Well, I don't think it should. I, I get that, it, you know, the, some of the other ones, but I don't really think the Easy Bake Oven. I remember, you know, the Matchbox mm -hmm. car collections. Yeah, yeah. I used to strap them, used to tape them onto my feet and stand on them and use them as um, hmm. roller skates oh. <laughs> until my father went absolutely ballistic. Did it work like that? Not really. I was going to say. I was just bored. I lived on a farm, you know, and after <laughs> yeah. I finished mowing the paddock or riding the horses, I thought I'd go roller skating right. down the driveway. <laughs> it didn't quite work. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, but I think they should never have been made. Um, <laughs> hey, let's go to over to break, everyone. As people enter, hey, we're gonna, have we got time for another story or? Let's go to break. Okay, right. let, we'll be right after this break, everyone.